While addressing diplomats at the United Nations, South Korea's U.N. ambassador called for North Korea to stop its provocations and return to the negotiating table. This comes as North, uh, the North's U.N. envoy defended the regime's right to self-defense. Kim Yo-sung with our top story. The two Koreas came head-to-head -head over the issue of sanctioning the North over its latest missile provocations. Seoul's top representative to the U.N. on Wednesday called on Pyongyang to halt provocative activities and engage in dialogue. We urge the DPRK to stop such provocative actions, abide by all relevant Security Council resolutions, and respond to the call for dialogue and peace on the Korean Peninsula through complete, verifiable, and irreversible denuclearization. The remarks were made in a UN General Assembly meeting to discuss the latest failure of the UNSC to pass a resolution on North Korea. During the same meeting, North Korea's UN ambassador defended the regime's development of ballistic missiles and nuclear weapons to protect it against, quote, direct threats posed by the U.S. If the DPRK the conduct the test constitutes the threat to the international community, UN Security Council should clarify convincingly why ICBM test by United States hostile to us is not regarded as threat to the DPRK. This comes as China and Russia defended their vetoes of a resolution calling for tough new sanctions on Pyongyang. The close allies reiterated their opposition to increase sanctions blaming Washington for heightening tensions on the Korean Peninsula. They also urged the U.S. to suspend its joint military operations in the region. Beijing and Moscow also insisted that it's high time for a dialogue between North Korea and the Biden administration. Kim Hyesan, Arirang News.